So the next part of the discussion here in organic chemistry that is hydrocarbon of organic chemistry is that is nomenclature of organic nomenclature of organic compounds. So in this nomenclature of organic compounds, if you go for an organic compound, you take an organic compound, an organic compound is made up of a root word, root word represents number of carbons, then an organic compound is made up of primary suffix when you say primary suffix it is we can take in terms of with respect to when you say primary suffix you can take it as in you can take it as in you can take it as in in stands for alkenes in stands for alkenes and uh, in stands for alkynes stands for alkynes. Apart from this, it is also having the uh, second after primary suffix you can go for secondary suffix. Here two degree stands for secondary secondary suffix. Secondary suffix actually gives the uh, I mean the technical name of the functional group. Secondary suffix is nothing but naming of naming naming of functional group naming of the functional group then then you can take the primary prefix primary primary prefix primary prefix it is used for cyclo compounds cyclo compounds and the last one is that is numerical 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 prefix this indicates number of groups number of substituents or groups which are repeating again and again in the same manner numerical prefix means suppose for example you take that is for a given organic compound for an organic compound organic compound okay numerical suffix is mentioned in terms of di tri tetra and so on so for example one example i would like to give you to make you to understand very clearly one example i would like to give you suppose i am taking uh, take one example take one example but two in one all say for example you are taking one organic compound which is having the iups name this is the iups name this is the IUPAC name, butene, one word is the IUPAC name. So here the word but stands for root word. So therefore if here but is the root word and in is the secondary, in is the, in is not secondary that is sorry this is primary 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 suffix it is primary suffix primary suffix and the ol is the ol is nothing but the secondary suffix this is one example that means here bit represents root word root word represents the number of carbons 
in represents the primary suffix whether it contains a double bond or single bond or triple bond like that and ol is the secondary suffix which gives the functional group which gives the functional group root word represents number of carbons this is example 1 go for example 2 i'll give you much more simpler example i'm going to give you much more much more simpler example i'm going to give you that is suppose for example uh, but uh, but to in but to in 3 in suppose an an organic compound whose hydrocarbon is given by the iups name that is but to in 2 in and 3 in so here cast the root word root word in is the primary suffix in and in both of them are primary suffixes both of them are primary suffixes so suppose if you want to write the structure for both this if you want to write the structure for this but to in and one all and uh, but to in and three in if you want to write the structures for example uh, that is 1 2 3 4 one all so for if you take the numbering 1 2 3 and 4 so this is all means it is alcohol so attach oh then you says two in means after second carbon you create one double bond one all satisfy the tetravalencies so take attach one bond here attach one bond here three covalent bonds will come for the fourth carbon and uh, one covalent bond with hydrogen will come for this third carbon again one covalent bond with hydrogen for the second carbon and one single bond hydrogen single bond hydrogen this is bit to in one ol this is bit to in one ol is a structure if you go to the structural formula of bit to in and one ol that is you can take four carbons 1 2 3 4 1 ol if you take one ol means one alcohol attach one alcohol here 1 2 3 4 give the numbering then 2 in after second carbon create a double bond then satisfy the tetravalencies so 1 2 3 again 1 1 one covalent bond here already three bonds are there so if you take one more uh, covalent bond here only two bonds are there so attach one covalent bond here and one covalent bond here so single bond hydrogen again single bond hydrogen single bond hydrogen single bond hydrogen single bond hydrogen and single bond hydrogen this is the structural formula for but to in one ol likewise similarly if you go for but to in 3 in if you take 1 2 3 4 and but to in so 1 2 3 but to in 3 in so but to in 3 in means if you take here double bond 3 in so 3 in means i think but but to in i can say this as you better change it to 1 in not 2 in because the condition doesn't accept uh or else you can take here you change the root word here instead of but you take pent that is much better and make it 3 in pent 3 in so pent 3 in means i'm attaching one more carbon so 1 2 3 4 5 pent 3 in but 2 in pent 3 in so this we make it as 1 in pent 1 in 3 in so you can take one double bond here and one triple bond after the third carbon root word is pent so therefore satisfy the tetravalencies here for the fifth carbon carbon single bond hydrogen carbon single bond hydrogen and carbon single bond hydrogen again here also already fourth carbon we have four covalent bonds and the third carbon also we have four covalent bonds and the second carbon we have only three bonds so attach one single bond hydrogen and here single bond hydrogen single bond hydrogen so this is the structural formula for pent 1 in and 3 in if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus